Hey guys, it's Chris Fate with Cheat the Game. I want to do a part two quickly in regards to the last video of finding commonalities. And uh, this is a great feature, and, I'm, and I really appreciate all the enthusiasm from the uh, last bit and how much you guys really love that commonalities feature. I love it too. I really recommend that everybody, that if you can, go over to the Cheat Engine forum and just leave Dark Byte a great thank you for his hard work on what he does for Cheat Engine. He has just made this a great, great tool that we really enjoy using. And it's his hard work that's made this possible. But I did come across a question, and you do run into this, and this is another reason why I don't really click on, when in commonalities, I don't really click on just fine matching sets because a lot of times you'll get what looks like this and it looks like you know what these are pointers and basically what I'm going to do is show you how yeah these are just pointers but yeah you have to do them a little bit differently so if you want to compare pointers uh, I'm going to show you how to do that so I'm going to bring up the same game Titan Quest and uh, I'm going to do a pointer path instead and show you how to do that so I'll be right back with you Okay, thank you guys. And comparing like a pointer path to a value is a lot different than just comparing the uh, base registry with its offset with the value and everything. So I want to show you how to do that. So it does get a little confusing and it's very hard to explain it where it doesn't sound confusing. So I do have to show you some things just so you can understand because it's really hard to explain. What I need to do is I want to get back to that same location that we were in. Uh, for our health and we're just going to do it in that same spot where it writes to our health address when we take damage so we're going to put this on array of byte scan click uh, writable to make it readable and writable by inputting the little box always do this when you search for an array of bytes all right so we're going to search for that array of bytes and click for scan let's go ahead and attach it to the game which i forgot to do now there we go let's do that now and we find that area in memory and we're going to disassemble this memory region and bring it up here and here's the opcode right here this ESI 734 XMMO okay let's move in the new value you can see right here where it's subtracting so good 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 alrighty let's get uh, into the game I should have already done this before I clicked on but Sorry about that. We'll go ahead and get over to some enemies right quick. And uh, we will uh, do a pointer path instead. And I'll show you how to compare it. Let's just go ahead and start. Alright. Let's go ahead and get over to the enemy section. First thing I need to do before I get there, though, is uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the debugger on the address so it'll bring up our my address versus the enemy's address. And remember, it won't pop up in this section until we actually take some damage. Uh, this section is only accessed when damage is taken. Sorry, let me turn that down. All right, so let him hit me one good time. So there we are. Let's put that on float. All right, hang on one second here. I think my... Uh, it looks like a code. Let me try this one more time. Oh, I put it on the wrong one. I'm sorry. Here, This out code right here. My bad. All right, Chris. Get, it, get with it, will you? All right. Let's put it on flow and let's try again. There we are. Let's go ahead and bring our address on over here so we don't die. I'll put it up to about 250. I'm just going to leave it on for right now so we're not dying. All right, so that's us. And let's grab our enemy. Just hit him one time and we'll hit him one time. And we got two of them and that's good. So that's all we need. We just need us and a couple of enemies and we're going to go ahead and put our address in group one and find commonalities now if you have a bunch of addresses you'll want to mark just a, a few randoms and mark them in group two however if you don't select anything it will automatically put every address in group two so beware of that so be familiar with that all right we're going to go ahead and scan for commonalities 
and right here it shows us and you see here that ECX is showing that value of one again that we so I'm not sure if those are the same values in the EBP and RSP registry or ESP registries or not which is the stack but uh right quick I want to take a look at what's in the EBX registry because that's what we're going to be using to, so I can show you the pointers so I'm going to show the register states and let's take a look we see this address here is an EBX so what I want to do is I'm going to copy the registers to clipboard I'm going to bring up a notepad and this is just so I can show you you don't have to do this when you actually go to do your searching I'm just trying to show you something all right so I'm going to use the exact same thing so I just copied what address is the base address in EBX right now this is the base address ending in 368 so let's double click EBX and this is exactly what we did last time I'm doing nothing different except for this time I'm going to click that box only find matching groups okay we're gonna go ahead and do the scan and I'm just gonna save this up here just obscurely and boom here we go now pointers are very different as you can see it's showing us a base which all offset zero all that is in I'm sorry all that is in EBX however these offsets are pointer offsets okay so I need uh, I need you to understand what pointers are so let's go ahead and let me show you let's go ahead and pick one that we want to use just say that that's all that we can find that's all cheat engine is showing us and this is why I don't click that <laughs> that's why I try to find something that EBX directly is pointing to instead of doing this because you get stuck looking through pointers and everything so and I don't like using pointers unless I just absolutely have to but we're just gonna say that yeah we do absolutely have to and let's just for the sake of argument right here and that means that in these groups they're the exact same and the other groups different so these are all group differences so let's say I just choose a, a random one right quick and let's say I chose this one right here okay this one right here well no that's that's a weird value I don't like weird values let's choose another one let's choose this 86 that's a good one that looks better so we see that when our base address is our health base address is in EBX I'm yeah is in EBX that uh, this pointer path will go through the pointer path and after the at the end of that pointer path the address is holding an 86 and here's the pointer path okay this is what we're going to do add address manually we're going to click on the pointer down here and we're going to put in that base address that EBX is and what's the first offset is C so we know that that address is pointing to C in EBX so that goes right here the next pointer is 158 so that would be the next offset on up so that is away from that EBX pointing registry okay this is what the address is pointing to not EBX okay so 158 okay I'm gonna add another offset and now we're gonna add 254 I'm sorry 244 244 and you see it that that address that final address equals 86 does that make sense to you do you understand that the offset zero is all the offsets EBX is pointing to and whatever that address is is pointing to this offset and this offset is pointing to this offset and this at this offset is where the value is do you understand that well that's knowing that knowledge now we have a way that we can do a compare and we're going to use that 86 to compare we just need to remember our offsets okay so basically we're just going to construct our compare like this and to do so we need to borrow a registry and that's what we're going to do so let me just kind of move that down here right quick and let's go back to our memory view and we're just going to go ahead and put it on the opcode itself this time 
So let's do an AOB injection. We'll just say health. I'm going to call it health 2 since I've already got a health 1. Okay. Now here's how we do that. Now remember, we need those offsets, okay? So the first thing we need to do is borrow a registry. It don't really matter which one. I stay away from anything that's in immediate use. And I'm not going to use the one that I'm actually comparing from, which is EBX. But you could. It won't change anything but I'm just saying it's always better just not to utilize one that's currently being used at that particular moment in time all right so I'm just gonna choose a random one and I'm gonna say EDX okay so let's bring this back over here let's get our offsets uh, the one where the 86 is we need C 158 254 or 244 I did that twice is there a way to copy that no, that's all right. Well, we, we can do it. Don't worry. All right. So first thing we need to do, we need to push EDX. Okay. So what do we want to load into EDX? Well, we need to we need to load into EDX by moving into EDX that EBX plus C. So. Whatever that address is at the C offset that EBX is pointing to, we want that address loaded into EDX. So now EDX will be containing the base address of this structure that will be pointing to 158. Okay? And we just keep going down the pike. Move into EDX again. EDX plus. 158 now remember what move does it copies and replaces okay so we push the previous value onto the stack that's not anything we need and we take this address and we move it into here now the computer is going to read this information from right to left and it knows what it needs to do with it so what we're telling is is now this new address which is the base address in EDX is now we want the value of that 158 offset that it's pointing to and move that value into EDX, which will also be another pointer address. Okay? Does that make sense? This is why it's confusing, so I don't want to lose you here. All right, so now we're going... We Actually, we don't need to move no more because we're on the last offset. So now that address that's now moved into here will be the base address of this structure which will be pointing to 244 so now we're in the correct structure where we can just do our compare CMP EDX plus 244 and remember the value we want to compare we want to compare 86 or we could compare 0 our enemies but I'm just choosing to do 86 so make sure you put that on here and directly after. Now this is in decimal. This is this is in hex. Remember, I didn't have it in hex. This is decimal. If I wanted it in hex, then I'd have to do it somewhat like that. So it would be 56 instead of 86. But since that's decimal, I need to put that pound in front of it. Or I could do it like this. And if I wanted to do the hex version of it, then I could put it like this. Okay? can do it either way that, that all does the same thing but I'm using its decimal version so we use the pound sign I want you to compare that decimal 86 okay now before we put the condition up let's go ahead and pop EDX this will put whatever it was placed on the stack back into EDX and now we're done with it the computer will remember or it will remember cheat engine will remember exactly the address and the value we need to compare okay it will remember that even after we popped it so keep that in mind I don't want that to confuse you either so jump if not equal to code that means only my guy is 86 and all the enemies are just gonna jump down here okay and what do I want my guy to do I just want him to jump back to the main program I don't want XMMO writing to my guy at all so so my guy is just going to I'm sorry I should have jump return there we go so right here all the enemies are going to jump over here to code and xmmo is going to write to their health but my guy will not jump to code because it meets the condition and it's just going to jump to return 
and go back to the main program okay I know it's confusing but let's take a look and see if this works alright let's just call this right quick I'm gonna turn this off so it's not tainting us and I'll call this health pointer compare and let's turn that on and I'm gonna take my health back down I'm gonna put it about 200 so if it's working we should take no damage and that auto regeneration which is writing in a different part of memory should just be regenerating us while we're not taking damage and still being hit by the enemy so let's see and take a look we are regenerating it's counting up we are taking damage but it is not being calculated so we have infinite health and you can see we can still kill our enemies so that's how you do a pointer compare and that's what when you see stuff like this that's what they are they're pointers okay it gets a little confusing you have to do those a little bit differently but it's really not that hard okay so I hope that does help you I want to thank all my partners right quick these guys are amazing uh, the partners of patreon and the donators that donate to PayPal you guys are awesome we put out a call because uh, we do have channels that are imitating us and some are scammers and making people download malicious content and scam stuff and things like that so uh, what we're trying to do is get the name copyrighted so we can help take down those channels. They're using our name to try to hurt people and I'm not going to allow that to happen. And I'm going to file it to its fullest extent. So uh, hopefully we can get this copyrighted. I want to thank all the partners and donators. And if you want to become a partner and donator, they get perks. Everybody who signs up to be a partner, uh, I'm going to allow... Uh, access to my cheat table folder I'm going to give you my entire cheat table folder and this is the most updated version and uh, it has all my cheat tables in it I'll even show it to you let me get over to it if you take a look here here's my cheat tables in the documents folder and all these will be yours it's only a dollar a month and this is just to say thank you uh, for becoming a partner it really helps us out it really keeps us in operation and helps us defeat these scammer type people that want to use our name and, and sell our reputation cheat the game will never ever allow you to download malicious content of any kind if you're not sure what it is even if it's on this channel uh, don't download it and if you have any questions in regards to anything contact me directly write me in the comments come over to discord uh, write me directly and I promise you I will help you I will not allow you to be harmed by anyone okay so just let me know and I'm sorry that happened I didn't realize it until this past week and my partners my admins my mods and the donators uh, all, we all jumped on it together and we're taking care of it to get them taken down so thank you guys so much all right Alright guys, I'm out of here. You all take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care now.